Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. We are not officially in spring yet, but we're getting close. We're a couple weeks off, but I am very excited about what I'm seeing in the front yard and backyard here and in the food forest. I'm seeing lots of buds, lots of uh, some tiny leaves getting ready to leaf out and things are looking nice, which is very, very welcome after the snowy year we had this year, snowy and cold. So I am standing in front of an apple tree right now, and you can see right here, I got lots of buds on it. This was a very good producer last year, and looks like I'm going to get quite a few apples off of it this year again. And same thing with the other apple trees, peaches, pears, stuff in there, lots going on. Let's see, this one right here is a sea berry, and it's a male sea berry, and it's rather sickly. I got a lot of dead branches on it. It's it had a a uh, rough time of it with all the deer brows and all, but you see this branch right, oh, not that one, these branches up here. Let me turn around so I'm not blinding you in the sun, but just tons of little buds right here getting ready to pop. So everything is looking good on that one. Another exciting thing I have, let me find a good one. There's one over here that you can see good. I have lots of pawpaws in the yard. And most of them have buds. They have little flower buds ready to open up. You can see this one at the end of my fingertip here. So that will be a bud right there. These are leaves getting ready to leaf out up here. So hopefully we'll actually get some pawpaw fruit on the farm this year. I am very much looking forward to that. Let's see. I'm, I missed. I have a Coosa dogwood back there behind this bush right there but that's a coos of dogwood it has some stuff going on but i'm not going to backtrack on you there um over here we have a cornus moss dogwood right here and lots of little buds on it getting ready to pop right there over here we have an elderberry and you can see lots of leaves coming out on the elderberry here starting i actually have more on the other side of the yard i'll show you that in a a moment that are leafed out a little bit more than this already but uh, the elderberry starts out with leaves and the flowers come in the uh, june time frame and i'm walking through a patch of mint here i need to get a lawnmower out and trim trim out all the dead stuff here which you can see all the mint is popping up from the ground here so love having that this is another cornice moss dogwood here again tons of buds on that. I have another pawpaw here and this one I see a, a couple of little flower buds here and lots of leaves coming out so not quite as many flower buds as last year. This one had a lot and there's another one right there which I'm sure has a lot of flowers on it not flowers, but uh, buds coming out. You can see right there at the tip of my finger if I can get around the cage here. And one other plant I wanted to show you back here is a Nanking Cherry. And the Nanking Cherry, it is gonna be very productive this year. You can see, you can see all over I have buds getting ready to pop on that one. So this plant will look almost totally white with the flowers on it and then the leaves will come afterwards and I have another one there and another one there so I have five in a row here and this one is a mulberry and you can see I'm getting ready to get a couple leaves right there it's gonna leaf out so I don't really get spring flowers on mulberries okay this is another elderberry right here and as you see it's leafed out a lot more I'm guessing just because it gets Probably gets a little bit more sunshine here, but this one ought to be a good producer right here. This one is a Nova elderberry, and again, it's going to leaf out, and it'll get flower buds a little bit later on. This one is one of the aronias throughout the yard, and it, like the elderberry, it will leaf out first and get flowers later on in the summer. And this would be in... Asian persimmon, I believe, and I have a couple little buds on it. And this one I'm very excited about. So this one, I don't, don't know if you can see through the fence there, but this is another nanking cherry, but this one is a white nanking cherry with white flowers. So, or I'm sorry, white fruit. So 
I have not had any fruit off of that yet. Hopefully I will get some good fruit this year off of that. And let's see, the next thing I'm really, really excited about is this one right here. So this is a plurry and that is a cross of a plum and a cherry. And it is gonna be, has tons of buds on it and hopefully we'll get tons of fruit. So we'll see about that. Maybe I can get a shot in the spring once it actually flowers out here. And we are now in the perennial garden. This is my citrus tree. I'm in zone six of West Virginia. And this is a citrus that will actually grow into zone six. And I haven't had any fruit yet, but I have little, little, uh, I want to say buds, but I'm willing to bet that these are leaves here getting ready to pop out at the thorns. I haven't had any flowers or fruit off of this yet. So hopefully I'll be getting some soon. Um, it is about the age to get it. So it's uh, kind of a cross between an orange and a lemon, very seedy, but it, it makes good juice and stuff like that. So can't wait to get some fruit off of that. This is a, a Carmen Jewel bush cherry and again i have lots of buds on this thing ready to break loose this one right here is another bush cherry it's a different one i can't remember if this one is a sand cherry or what i'll have to look it up i lost my tag in the ground here so i have to go by my tags in the house but this one is just tons and tons of buds on it and this right here is my chi tree that's c-h-e and I really don't see anything happening with it just yet. It does come out a little bit later and the fruit is actually after that. It leafs out before I get any signs of fruit on it. This is an aronia, a larger one. We saw a smaller one earlier, but you see it's getting ready to leaf out here, like on the tip of my fingers. Over here, I have a Korean bush cherry and again, buds all over the place. So it ought to leaf out real good and i just spotted another bag worm back here so i need to get out and i noticed on some honey berries which we'll see in a minute and a couple other plants i have some of these bag worms so uh we will i will be taking care of those when they're easy to get at right now just in case there's any eggs or anything in it and i will drown those things out and try to get them out of the garden area here it's easy to see them now with no leaves on this one is a blueberry and we can see tons of little, and I'm not sure if these are, I think the blueberries leaf out before we get flowers. So these will probably pop out in the leaves before we get flowers. And this is a gumi berry. And again, just tons and tons and tons of buds on this thing. So I ought to get a good harvest of gumi berry here. Here, I was happy to see that my rosemary made it through the winter so we had a cold winter but we had lots of snow and if we get a, enough snow to actually help blanket it and insulate it from the extreme freezing cold it will make it through and it looks like it did let's see over here i was talking earlier about the bagworms and i don't know if you can see from this picture but i have a lot of them and these aren't bagworms uh i forget what they're called i'll have to look it up but these are honey berries and I have lots of these little worms in here. So I will take care of those, but just up above this bag worm, right at the tip of my finger there, you can see some buds there getting ready to come out and open up. So lots happening there with that I'm here. So very excited about all of the stuff coming up here. We have just lots and lots happening here as far as getting ready to pop out with leaves and buds and, it ought to be a very, very productive year on the farm here. So please tune in later. Keep up with everything we got going on. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on the Odyssey channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.